Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley, and this is the third installment, if you will, of a series that I started this month during the month of May. That's when I'm taping this, and uh, the month of May is reckoned by the Catholic Church as the month of Mary, and so it seemed an appropriate time to talk about Mary. Um, two episodes ago, I made the distinction between doctrines and dogmas, and uh, dogmas being those official church teachings that won't be changed or revoked. And I made mention of the fact that there are two very important dogmas related to Mary. Last week's episode dealt with the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, that Mary was conceived without original sin, so that she could be the sinless vessel to give birth to Christ. Today's episode, I want to talk about the dogma of the Assumption of Mary. And simply put, the Assumption of Mary um, is that when Mary was at the end of her earthly life, she was taken body and soul by God into heaven. This we get this teaching, really, it comes from Scripture. Uh, chapter 12 of Revelation talks about a woman who gives birth, and then she's taken to a place that is prepared for her. And the interpretation of that particular verse um, leads theologians, has always led theologians to believe that that was a reference to Mary, that a place was prepared for her. What's interesting about the assumption is nobody really knows what happened to Mary at the end of her life. The Catholic Church doesn't even say officially what happened because we don't know. Did she die? And then was she assumed into heaven? Was she assumed into heaven at the moment of her death, prior to her death? Interestingly, the, the Greek Orthodox uh, Church calls this particular episode the Dormition of Mary, the fact that she just kind of fell asleep. But the important thing to remember about the Assumption, like any teaching about Mary, is the two things. And I kind of mentioned this at the last episode, too. There's always two things that we should remember about any teaching the Church has about Mary. The first thing, what does it say about us? Because ultimately, if we say something is true of Mary, we want it for ourselves. So if we say Mary is body and soul in heaven, in paradise, with her son, with God, that's what we want for ourselves. We want to live our lives in such a way, as Mary is our model, we want to live our lives in such a way that we will ultimately have that same uh, reward, that we will be in heaven. The second thing any teaching says about Mary really points beyond herself to her son, Jesus. That Mary's role in salvation history is important, but without her son to, to live, to suffer, to die, and to rise, your salvation, my salvation, and in fact Mary's is not, is not guaranteed. And so when we praise Mary or we say something really positive about Mary, what we're really doing is saying something really positive and praising Jesus, our Lord. Thanks for watching. I hope that uh, helps and makes sense. If you have any questions or if you have comments or ideas for future topics, please feel free to leave me a comment. In the meantime, take care of each other and God bless.